My colleague, Alan Schneider, director of the B'nai B'rith World Center in Jerusalem, joins me now. Alan, welcome. Hi, Dan. So what unique project has the World Center initiated in 2023? There are always new projects um, involving so many different areas of life in Israel and in terms of Israel-Diaspora relations. So what have you initiated uh, in 2023? Well, I'd like to touch very briefly on two projects, Dan. Uh, one of them is the uh, Hebrew Diplomatic Corps. Uh, this is the first time that uh, diplomats have been brought together uh, in, in Israel, foreign diplomats who speak Hebrew. Uh, and we have done this now uh, with, uh, in partnership with the Protocol Department at the uh, Israel Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, and we've identified together about 20 to 30 uh, foreign diplomats uh, who speak he Hebrew at one level or, or another. Uh, and we thought that uh, it would be a good idea to bring them together and give them the opportunity of using the language uh, among themselves uh, and learning uh, about Israel, aspects of Israel that they might not otherwise be exposed to uh, if they, you know, in the normal course of, uh, of uh, diplomatic activity uh, here. So we um, held the inaugural meeting uh, at the ministry with uh, Dr. Afshalom Kor, who is a, a internationally known expert on the Hebrew language. Uh, made a very interesting presentation. And the second meeting was held at the Ac Academy of the Hebrew Language that B'nai actually had a hand in uh, establishing um, many years ago. And uh, we met there with the president, the current president of the academy, uh, who made, again, a very uh, interesting presentation um, about the Hebrew language and its connection uh, to uh, Arabic and other languages uh, in uh, the Middle East, and then we did a tour of the academy. And I think this uh, added a whole new dimension uh, for these uh, diplomats, uh, and we intend uh, to continue uh, with this program after the summer, uh, and perhaps even open it up to uh, members of their families uh, who speak Hebrew, children here who go to uh, school and have learned Hebrew, uh, or, or uh, spouses of the diplomats. So uh, that was, um, I think, something... Um, uh, very unique uh, that we were able to accomplish this year. And then we have the Gratitude Award that you participated in also, Dan, where we presented for the first time awards to uh, Polish citizens, non-Jewish, uh, in Poland, who have dedicated their lives to maintaining Jewish culture and heritage uh, in Poland, in many uh, cases uh, at a price, actually, for themselves. And um, in uh, Warsaw, we, we had a, a ceremony in the context of the uh, con conference that was held by B'nai B'rith in Poland, marking 100 years of B'nai B'rith in uh, uh, free Poland. And uh, we had, a, I think, a very moving event where uh, two individuals um, received our presentation, our citation called the Gratitude Award. Uh, one of them runs a, a small organization that she founded uh, in a former shtetl, a town where Jews used to live and there are no Jews there. And later, uh, late in life, actually, uh, she realized and learned that there were Jews living among the population there. And, and um, she's been dedicated uh, to preserving the, the Jewish cemetery um, and the site where the synagogue used to stand was destroyed uh, and uh, other aspects of the Jewish life in uh, Shtetel uh, Molina, which is where uh, she was, she's from. And the uh, the other individual was the uh, director of a, a large organization uh, that's uh, now marking uh, uh, 25 years of, of activity, which is called the uh, Forum for Dialogue that brings Jews and non-Jews together uh, in Poland for a dialogue and better understanding. Uh, so uh, we're already uh, taking the, the first steps towards next year's presentations. Well, you've worked for years uh, to promote strong uh, Israel diaspora relations. Uh, and also, um, you've worked uh, to uh, foster more understanding uh, of um, in terms of the sacrifices that were made by Jewish rescuers uh, of Jews uh, during the Holocaust. Tell us a bit about those two areas that uh, the World Center has been so deeply involved in? Uh, well, uh, one of the things that we have done now uh, for over 30 years uh, is presenting our award for journalism for excellence in diaspora reportage. 
And we have done that um, in order to encourage Israeli journalists to report more on the Jewish diaspora. Um, I don't have to tell you that the communities uh, have been uh, drifting apart for various reasons. Uh, and uh, through this award, we wanted to encourage uh, the Israeli media to invest more uh, in uh, reporting about the Jewish diaspora so that Israelis uh, would be exposed to what is happening in uh, diaspora communities all over the world. Uh, and uh, we just recently had um, uh, our uh, last uh, event where we recognized journalists from uh, the Times of Israel, from uh, Ynet, um, and we also presented a um, honorable mention and lifetime achievement award to, to very senior journalists who've been working in the field for decades, uh, bringing the stories from the Jewish diaspora uh, to the Isra to Israeli audiences. Uh, so we um, we felt that uh, this is important. We also recognized that that ceremony, the Israel Harmonic Orchestra, which as you know, is a great representative for uh, Israel uh, around the world when it appears uh, on the world stages and the, on the most famous uh, world concert stages. And um, the director general of the uh, orchestra was with us uh, at the ceremony um, and um, uh, was uh, very appreciative of the recognition uh, of this major uh, Israeli institution. On the other issue, uh, Dan, that you mentioned, which is uh, the matter of Jewish rescuers during the Holocaust, uh, again, with the support from uh, B'nai B'rith, that uh, many years ago passed a resolution that we proposed to the um, uh, Board of Governors uh, in, in directing us to engage uh, in this area of activity of recognizing the heroism of Jewish rescuers during the Holocaust. Uh, since that time, we have uh, been deeply involved in the issue. We uh, uh, are members of a, a committee uh, that uh, deals with the, the issue on a daily basis and also that presents together with the World Center the Jewish Rescuer Citation. Uh, this is the only citation, the only award uh, that has um, uh, until now has been given to uh, Jewish rescuers. These are people who uh, chose not to take up arms to fight, whether in the ghettos uh, or as members of the partisans or otherwise against the Nazi, but rather uh, to use their skills and the opportunities that they had in order to rescue fellow Jews. And they used, you know, many uh, different methods to do that, uh, hiding Jews or uh, escorting them over the mountains into uh, neutral countries. Um, in some cases, they were just individuals working on their own initiative. Uh, in other cases, uh, they had uh, large-scale um, organizations, uh, underground organizations that were active. Uh, and so we have, uh, until now, we have recognized since 2011, uh, 624 uh, rescuers from all across Europe and also North Africa, uh, Jews who were, who endangered their own lives to rescue fellow Jews. And um, uh, we are continuing uh, with those activities. We have a, a major uh, event with, uh, usually with over a thousand people present, at the B'nai B'rith Martyrs Forest on Yom HaShoah, the Holocaust Remembrance Day here in Israel. Uh, and uh, that ceremony is dedicated every year uh, to the, the heroism of Jewish rescuers. We believe it's the only ceremony in the world, actually, that um, uh, has that as, as its theme uh, every year. And um, at that ceremony, we make the bulk of the presentations uh, of the Jewish rescuer citation. Alan, thanks for all the important work you do every day in Israel. Great to have you here today. Thank you, Dan.